Satellite is where you'll find radio personalities Opie and Anthony, who were a little on guard when we visited their studio. And uh, what usually happens is we'll say something really bad and outrageous. They'll have the sound up on that, and then they'll turn it down and do the voiceover of, you know, how horrible they are. Yeah, that's right. Opie and Anthony were fired from a Boston radio station in 1997 for an April Fool's joke. We figured we'd just blow the whole thing up and, and say... Uh, that Mayor Menino was, was dead. It's really great to be here. To he wasn't. And in 2002, yeah. they were fired from a New York radio station after taking a phone call describing a couple having sex in New York's St. Patrick's Cathedral. You know, morally, it was obviously wrong. I mean, it, I guess it was a mistake on a level, but as far as what we do, it's kind of made us bigger. What do you think about the Super Bowl? Opie and Anthony now broadcast nationwide on XM radio without any fear of the FCC. It gives you a lot more freedom. It's getting on the air and being able to discuss anything without worrying that it's going to come back and bite you from the FCC. It's basically talking about adult subjects like adults talk about it when uh, they're maybe at their friend's house, maybe in the locker room. They sell this stuff on the street? We know there's an audience for it. That's why we're doing it. That's why we get paid a lot of money to do it. With moves afoot to pump up the fines on traditional broadcast TV and radio, the route of Opie and Anthony may turn out to be a road more traveled. Because make no mistake, there's a cultural battle underway in America that could be every bit as bruising as what you'll see in the Super Bowl later today. At least during the game. Halftime? Given what happened last year, it's a safe bet. You can let your children back in the room for that.